Okay, I wanted to take a moment this evening just to show you guys these 130 some peppers. This is the result of Aurora ornamental pepper crossing with my ivory tusk sweet pepper. And I'll show you that at the end of this video as I get down there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my camera and I'm gonna go down through some of these peppers and show you what happens when you plant the seed from a hybrid. Every single one of these pepper plants is a brand new variety that's not existed before, okay? So like this first one here has got all ivory fruits. This next one's got green. This next one's got purple. This one's got really dark purple and it's quite small if you look at the stature of that plant compared to these others. The Aurora, that are one of the parents of this variety, is a, a small ornamental, a little smaller than this really dark purple one you're looking at here. So, and then we've got more of lavender colors and more tall purples over here, greens. Another really dark purple, small one. Look at these right here, kind of speckled purple and really small purple peppers. And then there's large purple peppers. Now I don't know yet which of these are hot, which of these are sweet. That's gonna be the fun part. If, in, if some of you lived closer, I'd invite you over for a taste testing day because Aurora is a very hot, pepper. Um, the ivory tusk, which is from, is the other parent of this variety, of all these varieties, is a sweet pepper. So we're going to see what happens. Now the other thing that's going to happen, and I'll probably do another video as we get closer to it, is Aurora, when it ripens, it goes from the purple and then it transitions into oranges and yellows and then turns red. So I don't know the finish color yet on these peppers. So this one's got really tiny ivory ones. Isn't that, look at that, lots of little ivory ones. This one's got a lot of big, big ivory ones. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna chase one of these ivory peppers. I'm gonna look for maybe one of the hottest ivories and then I may name it Ivory Dagger because um, I named my sweet pepper ivory tusks. So you can see in here just a lot of different kinds of peppers. Some of the peppers are displaying their peppers pointed up. That would be similar to the Aurora. See all these are pointing up. And then many of them are pointing down. This is a really neat one here. This actually has an ivory pepper that's got a violet blush to it. That's one of the rare ones in this whole batch. That might be another one that I save seed from and I, and I chase. It's very pretty. So down here, this, after this break right here, this is ivory tusk, and this is a variety of sweet pepper. I had a, someone that gave me a, a packet of seeds that was just called a Romanian pepper. And I was also growing a variety called Nardellos. And I believe those two varieties crossed. And from that cross, I have this really interesting ivory sweet pepper that when it gets red it's very nice and sweet it's just a beautiful sweet pepper so if some of you aren't familiar with what all these red jars are about maybe i'll take a moment to explain um i had a friend that owned a bakery in traverse city michigan and he would go through about oh seven jars of olives every week in a special Parmesan olive bread that he had. And he owned this bakery for years. And we would go 
every week and pick up his jars. And we have literally over a thousand of them. So I really spoil my plants. I take and um, I put a jar next to each plant and it really moderates the temperature. The sun warms up all those jars during the day and then at nighttime it releases that heat. And here in Michigan, we had a 36 degree night just the other night. This is June uh, 19th today. And just a few nights ago, we still had a 36. I'm looking at the extended forecast and they're talking about um, a 42 or a 39 coming up. So one night um, we take this floating row cover and we just pull it right over the, the whole entire row here. And that keeps them nice and snug and warm at night. And now when these plants were young, I had one single layer of this floating row cover over them at all times. And the reason for that is I wanted to make sure that I kept the insects from getting in and pollinating. Now that my first fruits are all set and, and you know, ripening, I'm not so worried about any bumblebees and stuff getting in here and doing any pollinating because I'm going to be taking whatever seed I'm saving from the initial fruits that were set. So at any rate, as we get closer to choosing a variety out of this, um, I'll show you more as they start ripening up. If anyone that saw this video is interested, um, I'll give seed to anybody that wants seed. If they saw something in this video, a certain pepper or something that caught their eye, I'd be glad to save seed for you and send it to you within about Oh, five years, six years, you could have a brand new variety of pepper. So you just got to grow it out. The nice thing is, is you get to eat everything. So I'm going to have to have friends come over and do a you pick for hot sauce because I got a lot of peppers here. At any rate, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please uh, subscribe and uh, let other people know. Forward this to other people and let them see it. Thanks. God bless you. And I pray that everyone's gardens are doing well.